What is a crack leads back with another short video. I'll keep this one short and sweet because we have kind of covered it before. We are going to be getting a free Mbappe as well as four other beastly French players with the chance deal. If you've missed or not watched the other video that is titled get Mbappe for free or you know we're getting Mbappe for free or whatever I do end up titling the video. Um, this is where I explain how we're going to be getting this with the chance deal that you see in this graphic that is accessed from the main menu in Dream Team. But today we are going to be focusing on the review of these players and just kind of talking through them. Uh, obviously you guys will see here that they don't appear this doesn't appear unless you have the contract for it this actual these five players don't appear um but when you do have it right they don't appear anywhere so even in the standard player list here they don't appear and they obviously don't appear in any of these lists here or the special player unless you have the actual uh unless you have the actual uh like contract for it the free chance deal for it right so the players that we're talking about are here i already have I'll just show you here. I already have um, Pavard, which I'll show you. So they're the five players over on eFootball DB. Uh, I already have Pavard, as you'll see here in my actual team. So when I go in here and I go into my players and I just do the, the French players, I already got Pavard. And you can see there that he is from the national team selection, France, 21 November 22. So that is, you can see a special graphic. He's got a special edition card. And as I said, over on eFootball DB, we do have the five cards up here with correct accurate player levels. Um, and yeah, I have Pavard here. I'm going to max him out probably because he is a very decent full back, depending on how I want to train him up. If you want to have him as speed, he's got some very, very good abilities here. I have his standard or I have this edition of Pavard. He only goes six levels, but he is a very solid player. Lad. So I think this guy here, if I'm going training him up, I'll probably keep his defense down a little bit and then I'll probably boost up his speed and his dribbling a little bit. Not too much, but just his speed and his dribbling a little bit just to be able to get that speed and acceleration up because I like my right backs and left backs to be kind of pacey, to be able to get up and down the pitch, but also have a bit of defensive awareness. And I think 85 is defensive awareness is very, very good. If you are playing him as a center back, you can kind of get rid of a lot of that... Um, he is a 90 overall center back there as well. But yeah, you can get rid of a lot of that stuff. He is a fairly tall player. He's good in the air, so you don't need to train up much. I think 80 header is probably enough. And then the rest of his physical contact and all that is, is, is pretty decent at that. 80 speed, 78 acceleration. Uh, you don't really need too much dribbling. If you are, you can leave that at 70 for the dribbling. 76 for ball control is more than enough for a center back. And then you're going to be pumping the rest in to get his defensive awareness up to 90 and his aggression and uh, tackling and engagement up as best as you possibly can and you still have room to actually get a couple of more points onto his speed if you want that but i would probably pump it in to uh i would probably pump it into aerial strength just to get his header ability up and then you'll have one more for dribbling just to be able to kind of control the ball he goes to a 95 overall as a center back so yeah definitely lads especially as he's a free card i definitely think he's worth looking at and training up rabio not so much i think that there's a lot of options for Rabio, like look he has beastly stats the dribbling the tight possession the passing the speed acceleration defense stats are pretty decent as well but i think if you don't have like a proper box-to-box -box center mid now like goretzka who can just dominate games for you i think you need to kind of focus on having maybe an anchorman and then maybe an amf and then have your left or right wingers if you are playing a 4-4-2 if you are playing a 3-5-2 or you're playing like a 4-3-3 or something like that you definitely need need an anchorman you definitely need need a box to box that can also pass so yeah unless you're playing like a barcelona 4-3-3 with a dmf cmf and amf i definitely think that rabio is probably down the pecking order on this obviously he's going to be a free card is he worth training up and putting the, the training points in maybe he's got fighting spirit true passing there just are a lot of center midfielders there goretzka pedri uh, Sergio Canales there's a lot of players that can that can do a job for you in midfield so yeah he might be worth the training points but yeah it's it's a bit iffy the same with Ben Yedder there's a lot of players that are strikers you're going to be getting these players as free chance deal players so I definitely think he is worth training up as well he's got a wavering form he's also got super sub which is huge 90 finishing not the best in the air but yeah I mean the rest of his stats are pretty decent he's kind of like a free version of uh, Benzema We've also got Mignan, who is a very good player, 92 reflexes. Even if you take away that and give yourself three more points there, I mean, you can get that up to... Um you can get that up to 79 for clearing, but you don't really need clearing. If that was me, 
and I'm training him up, I would probably put the rest into this. Like genuinely, that's what I would do. I would probably pump everything into that uh, to get his reflexes up to in around that as best as you possibly can. And then maybe have one on dexterity as well uh, or one on physical contact or whatever you want to do it to get his jumping up. Because, yeah, that is important as well. People, A lot of people sleep on jump for a goalkeeper. But if they're not the tallest goalkeeper, this guy is fine. Uh, but you need to have a, a, an eye on that as well. And then we've got the creme de la creme uh killing mbappe i mean if we're getting this guy for free lads there is no better way uh to you know celebrate it than mbappe because genuinely he is probably top five in the game i don't have his standard version of the card lads and i was going to buy it it's over a milli we do have the gp for it but it looks like we are going to be getting him for free he's got everything that you could possibly want if you don't have romario romanegi or any of the top tier center forwards this guy will just score you goal after goal after goal. You can train him up in a multitude of ways. 87 finishing isn't the highest, right? So you could train that a little bit different if you wanted. There is only 17 levels with him. Like his acceleration is enough, I would say, at that. And you could take it down a bit. The only reason I keep it high is because I'd like the offensive awareness for the runs in behind the shoulder of the defender. Um, but yeah, you could do that. You could take away his dribbling a little bit. If you wanted to leave it from 90, you could put it at 89. And then you could obviously put uh, you could put his uh, lower body strength down. Or you could even put the dribbling down. I would leave the dribbling at 89 though, lads. I, I think it's... I think it's worth doing it. So, I mean, training him up properly, like you could put the shooting up one more, but then you're missing out on that. So, yeah, I probably would leave it at that uh, with the two on dexterity to get that acceleration up. 89 dribbling, 88 offensive awareness, 87 finishing, 93 acceleration and 90 balance. I mean, absolute goal of game demon there. So, yeah, lads, that is it for the review of those. As I said, you won't get these players to appear unless you have a chance deal in your possession. So the, the special player list for these players will appear once you do it. We already got Pavard on the live stream, so go back and check that out if you are doubting me. But until next time, lads, I will talk to you later. It's another review. Peace.